I'm David Hedich from Peak Condition Monitoring. Today, I'd like to speak to you about the many different uses of phase measurement. In our first example, we'll look at possible faults detected in this pump assembly. The problem is first picked up by a high 1x peak in the radial direction. To determine the source, we decouple the motor coupling. Let's assume the faults present in the motor. A high 1x peak could indicate one of three types of imbalance. The only way to differentiate between them is by measuring the phase of the vibration. A static imbalance would show the waveforms measured radially at each end of the motor to be in phases shown here. A couple imbalance would show the two waveforms to be 180 degrees out as shown here. Finally, a dynamic imbalance would show the vibration to be out by any other angle, either completely in or out of phase. Phase data is also critical when confirming offset and angular misalignment in equipment. If offset misalignment is present, there will be peaks at 1, 2 and 3x in the axial direction with the waveforms out of phase. If angular misalignment is present, you will again see the 1, 2 and 3x peaks but in the radial direction and again the waveform will be out of phase. Here we look at another situation with a fan assembly. A common failure mode found in fans is a bent shaft. This presents in the axial vibration spectrum with a peak at 1x and another at 2x. A good way to confirm you've made the correct diagnosis in this case is to look at the phase. If the phase of the two waveforms is out by 180 degrees, then the problem is caused by a bent shaft. Phase can also help to determine the presence of eccentricity in a pulley for example. In this situation, the problem would present as two peaks in the radial vibration spectrum, one at the motor speed and one at the fan speed. If the pulley was eccentric, the phase of the waveforms would be the same. Online phase measurement is just one example of how peak condition monitoring can help keep your plant running. Thanks for your time.